we're at the start of something. Something big. You think? Morello tried to kill the Don. Not Tommy, not Polly, not anyone regular. The Don. It's gonna be war. I'm ready for him. I hope so. Hey, you need it up the stairs. I'll go straight up. It's war, Thumb. From today, we are at war. Haven't seen any trouble just yet. Hey, it's true the Don slipped Carla the bump, not you? Yeah, it wasn't pretty. Still blood in his veins, huh? Blessing Carlos. Keeping out of trouble, I hope. I want guards and lookouts round the clock. Here, the warehouse, and all our businesses. How about people under our protection? Forget about that. We stick to our own till this is over. I'll remember who picked the wrong side. Our guy's in place. Good. We're finally going after him. Soon. But first, we have to soften him up. Merle's got the cops, the politicians, and even some judges in his pocket. We can't afford to bite them all off, so we need to scare them into abandoning Morello's sinking ship. We bump off the right idiot, the rest are going to realize sticking with Morello ain't too good for their health. First in line for the pine box is this asshole, Galati. The counts are still seeing red over his dead kid, so he's never going to turn on Morello. Christ, that guy's been giving us fits since 32. Let me take care of him, boss. Why do you think you're here? Then he's got it all figured out. The counselor is celebrating his birthday with a big shindig on a steamboat. It's pulling out all the stops, booths, broads, fireworks. He's even giving a speech to the press. What kind of security? Just in normal detail, a few guys with Roscoe's. None of the other fellows are gonna do dick to protect that piece of shit. Okay, I'll talk my way into the party, put two on his head. Slow down, Junior. Galati's corrupt, but he ain't stupid. His crew will be searching everyone who comes on board, so you can't be carried. So, what? Uh, throw him overboard, see if he can swim. Don't go getting creative on me. You're still going to shoot him, for fuck's sake. When you get on deck, you make for the head. We got a janitor on the take, and he's planted a revolver in the bathroom. And then you just cool your heels. Mingle. Try not to look like a hatchet man until Galati makes his appearance. You wait for that bastard to start his speech, and only then do you put one between his eyes. We want it done in public to get people talking. Sure. But you got a plan for getting back to shore? Sam and Paulie are down the docks working on that. You meet up with him there, and they'll fill you in on the rest of the details. Okay. The lot is done, boss. You won't have to worry about him after tonight. I don't doubt it, Tommy. Born a Fortuna, Tom. Crusade. A crusade to destroy forced idols. 
which is an enemy of the human spirit generated by this depression. Our attack upon these enemies must be without stint and without discrimination. No sectional, no political distinctions can be permitted. It must, however, be recognized, and I know you will recognize it, that when an enterprise of this character is extended over more than 3,100 counties throughout the nation, there may be occasional instances of inefficiency, bad management, or misuse of funds. When cases of that kind occur, there will be those, of course, Attention folks, attention. We'll get you all aboard, but we will need to see tickets. Last You'll also be searched for safety. Thank you for your patience. Rugged individualism, that's what we're made from. That's what we say. You know how to drive that thing. You better hope I do. What's gonna save your ass once Galati's head is popped? Sam's over by the dock buildings figuring out how to get you on board. Live on illicit trades of stolen goods, don't pay their tax, don't live a decent, honest life. The finest family in the city. No doubt in my mind. Who's done more? And all this after the loss of his son. He's gonna clear up this city, you know. And he can throw one hell of a party. I'm not sure we've been introduced. Uh, Dorothy, this is my wife, Barbara. I'll show ya! Heard all about ya! Mm. Yes. There's a collection for the destitute just inside the church, if you can spare a little. You don't look like a guy with an invite. I got friends, just not these kind of friends. Well, I'll tell you what I got sailor back there who works on the steamer his head hit something heavy but his dandy white suit's fine thanks i'll go find him
Know you'd get a real job someday. So remember, play it cool. When you've gone... So remember, play it cool. When you've gone some ways over the water, find the gun. The janitor stashed it in the bathroom. Sure. Then get up on the roof. Wait for Galati's speech and pop him when he's done. And how do I get away? Polly's borrowed a speedboat. After the speech, there's fireworks. We'll come soon as we've seen them. You better be there on time. Don't worry. It'll go smooth like eggs and coffee. Looking good, Tom. The outfit don't get messed up. Keep it. Suits ya. gonna pull this off? You sure as shit gonna kill Galati. Getting off that boat? Well, he's gonna need a guardian angel. He don't need no fucking angel. He's got us looking out for him. done? Yeah. Was gonna go clean the bathrooms. Heard some guests complaining. You're volunteering to clean toilets? <laughs> Whatever. You got a rag there. Check every deck. Someplace. Nah, don't think so. I swear I know you. Were you with the Union, maybe? Sorry, buddy, I'm from out of town. Listen, shipmate, go someplace else. I can find the janitor. Back in a boat. Trunk is a skunk in the engine room. Same as always. Figures. Thanks. Say my name again, and you'll be found floating outside. Get that? Uh, yeah, I, I get that. for 
I do more than vote for the dames he invites to his parties. I do know you. Yo, with Salieri. What are you gonna do about it? Well, I'm gonna give you a beat for starters. <laughs> Found ya. Can't run. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, that hurts. Jeez, that... Hey, John. Hope you're enjoying yourself. As long as the bar stays open, counselor. <laughs> Good man. Have a note for me, huh? Good to see you. Thanks for coming. Hey, thank you, everyone. Yeah, thank you. Hey, welcome to my little party, right? <laughs> so, as you all know, it has been a tough time. Three years ago, my dear son, Billy, left us. An innocent pawn in a deadly gang war. A victim of the deceased, that is, organized crime. Since that day, I have lived only to eradicate this deceased. Today is a day for celebration for my 50th birthday. And for a brighter future for lost heaven. The criminals will be driven out of town. They'll drown like rats in the water. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. And now for the fireworks, huh?
Get up and...